Hey, what up everyone? I would like to start by saying Happy New Year and I wish you all the best in this new year 2021. Okay, so this is a quick uh, walkthrough on how you can render CSS and image files in your Django project. So let me just start by creating um, a folder, I will call it demo, and open that with VS Code. And let's uh, create just a demo project. So I uh, will say Django admin start project and the name of the project. So we'll call it demo project. Then we'll change directory to demo project. And we'll start an app. So um, Python manage.py start app and we'll call that demo app. All right, perfect. So we have the main folder demo project and inside we have a second one called uh, demo project holds the same name and uh, the main app here. All right, so let's start by um, just following some configuration steps. Go ahead and open settings and this is the first thing that we will do. So let's actually add to installed apps the name of the app, which is demo app. All right, so this is the first thing we need to do. Next, go to the bottom of that file and you will find that static URL equal to static. And this is the name of the folder. So you'll find here um, a comments uh, by Django admin itself saying that static files like CSS, JavaScript or images, these files are very specific. And in order to be rendered, we will need to include a folder called static. And inside that folder, we will have our images, our CSS or JavaScript files. Okay. So for instance, we will have in a static folder, we might have images and CSS files. So to differentiate, we will have media URL variable, and this will be equal to a folder and we will call it images. Then the static files underscore ders will be equal to OS and here I'm specifying the path for that static folder. So OS dot path dot join then the base directory comma and static. So this is to tell Django whenever you want to, here there is a C missing, whenever you want to render any static files, go ahead to the base there and the folder will be called static. So let's go to our main app, whatever the name of your app, the static folder must be inside that app. All right, so let's call the folder static. Inside static, I can have another folder called images another folder, let's say CSS, and another folder called JS for JavaScript. And this is actually out. Inside static folder, I have CSS folder, images folder, and JavaScript folder. Now, the next thing that I need to do is I need to modify in the URLs. Go ahead to URLs. So we will need to import the settings from the Django configuration system, and we will need also to import static. So we'll say from django.conf I want to import the settings and from django.conf.urls.static I want to import static. All right, good. And there are other things that we will need to um, modify in this file. So let's take this one right here because we'll need a path to the views where we will have our uh, function and we'll call it index. All right. So let's immediately import from demo app or the name of your application. We want to import the views file. And let's go ahead to views and uh, let me just save settings. Okay, good. So in views, I need a function which will render the index.html or the HTML page. Okay, so let's create a function called index which takes a request 
as a parameter then we will say the template will be equal to main dot index dot html so here I'm saying the path for template will be a folder will be called main and inside main we will have index dot html which we will do in a bit and what I want to do is I want to return and render the request and the template which is the index dot html okay cool so let's go ahead directly to demo app and let's create a folder I will call it templates and inside templates I want to create another folder called main and this is by convention you can just create um, main in the main directory of demo app it doesn't matter inside main here I will create index.html and let's have a boilerplate for index here in the title I will say demo app okay I will just put this um, image in images so we have an image saying um, boom this picture right here and in CSS I will create style.css and let's have uh, main settings for the file so background color um, let's say black and let's have the color itself um, let's say Azure that's okay all right so now I have my picture or image in images folder I have style.css in CSS folder now the last step is to render properly these two files in index.html and the first thing we need to do is we need to load static so this statement is very important if we want to render these files I mean the CSS and image files and JavaScript potentially if you want um, if we want to render them properly in the HTML template we need to type load static but before we do that let's actually test it so um, let's give an h1 tag hello world alright seems okay let's open the terminal let's actually make migrations and migrate um, so we will enter the demo project folder then we will say python manage.py make migrations and there is an error static files there's so it's in the settings and there is a comma here don't forget it I always do um, if you don't make a comma here you will have this error right so let's try that one more time okay cool now let's migrate so okay perfect so now let's actually run the server all right on the local host and we have hello world okay so now we are sure that everything is working properly now let me show you how to render the CSS and the image files so let's start by the image so let me actually put it below the hello world so I will have an image tag and inside the source I will open and close curly braces and two percentage signs and I will say static space use the single quotes go to the images folder and grab the boom.png and I will say alternative is image and style let's give it some styling so we'll say width will be equal to 120 pixels let's give it also margin bottom to minus 50 pixels all right let's save that then go here and let's hit refresh and boom we have the picture now let's do the same thing for the CSS file so we'll have a link and this is the Django template language okay so um, we'll need to uh, respect that order 
so curly braces and just attach to them on the left and right side the two percentage signs then uh, we'll type static and I want Django to access the CSS folder which is in static and inside the CSS folder I want the style.css alright we'll save that come here refresh and boom so this was how to render CSS and image files in your Django project I hope you liked the video, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.